Hello, it's me, and today I will be doing a review on my easy fun set of 10 Godzillas. And the reason I got these 2 inch tall tiny Godzillas is for a stop motion coming next week, where I'm gonna have this guy, oops, and all of his friends sort of playing with these at playgroup in like a sort of set that me and my dad have built, which is really cool. So, that will be coming out next week, and yeah, so I guess I'll start at this end, maybe, I don't know. So, first, Mothra, this is, and also another reason I got these is because they're so cute. I might need to move these just because it's focusing on them. They're really cute because they get Mothra, she's got her giant, big cute eyes which is really nice but these i was expecting these to be painted quite poorly just because i got them for 10 pounds and there's 10 of them so it's like one pound each but they're actually pretty good quality and unfortunately mothra doesn't move at all unfortunately but it's got really nice just simple colors it's got the uh, markings on this, they do actually look a lot like Mothra's wings, which looks really nice. It's got this nice sort of tanned, creamy colour for her, the, her body, then just a plain white for the head, which is nice. It's just a little bit of brown on her abdomen. And there are ten and there are eight tiny little legs, which is quite cute. And there next is... Space Godzilla. I was quite excited about this one just because I'm making little sets for all of them Which I can do in like a video in the future just showing you some of my sets for my tiny for these tiny figures but Unfortunately this one's painted quite poorly now these I mean I shouldn't really get that annoyed because it was one pound each basically these should all be pure white all the way to the tip of the tail and then these should just be white. And the red should only be in like the middle section there-ish. Like the lines or that bit there, those, and up the neck should be red. All the rest should be a dark bluish. But I don't really mind that it's black. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Unfortunately, no bendy wire in the tail, but you can sort of bend it. I heat it up because what it was is when it stood up, it was sort of like that because the tail was down. So I just heated it up, put it on some, under some cold water, and now I can stand up properly. But the paint for the head is actually really nice, with this sort of like crown-ish thing on his head. I don't really know, like a crest-ish. It's got his two little mandibles. The teeth are painted brilliantly, with his little tongue inside, and his big bright yellow eyes. Not much on the feet, like just a little silvery bit. But these arms, they are actually on ball joints, as you, well, circle joints-ish. But you can, instead of just being a swivel, they can sort of do that. Legs are on swivels, so you can go all the way around. Same with the arms, but that does come off quite easily on mine. But it's quite a nice space Godzilla with spikes on his shoulders. Then, this is one of the f my favourite Godzillas in it, is... Godzilla 2000, which looks epic. The teeth are painted brilliantly. The, so are the claws for the hands and feet. And also the dorsal splat plates are really nice, like this sort of purpley colour with some black bits on it. The eyes are just plain white, but I don't really mind that. That eye, I quite like that eyes better, so I usually have it standing that way. The arms are just on swivel, so all the way around, and slightly in and outwards, and they're swivel for the ankles. Then the tail, no movement, unfortunately. I would have liked them even just to put a swivel there, she so can spin it around, like some of the Bandai figures. But the spikes are really nice, they're just little soft plastics, so they are slightly bent when, they, when you take them out of their box. They don't come in boxes. Just one big square box, and these are all in like packets, sort of like the minifigures, but just sick see through. 
But the detail on it is really nice. His chest and his throat are really cool. But yeah, I really like this guy. And then I guess this is probably my least favourite. The Burning Godzilla. Like, I have to say, they got all these wipes in the right places. All of these are really perfect. All the, his sort of like burning bits. But just the head's a bit too big. And in the film, the plates aren't red. It's like, what they are, they're completely black with like an orange clear outline. And then from there down, they're just plain white again. So after this video, I'm going to repaint this guy and just repaint the dorsal plates and paint the eyes orange because they're meant to be orange. But he is quite good. I quite like the sh um, shape of the tail. And as all the others, just a swivel for the ankle, for the hip and then a swivel for the shoulder. No other articulation, but it's quite nice. I do think his head is too big though. And then this is quite a cool one. The 2014, the colouring for the dorsal plates on this one is really cool. Like this metallic light blue, which works brilliantly. And I absolutely love it. And it goes down to there on the tail. I wouldn't mind it going all the way down, but I've not got that many complaints for this guy. He looks epic. They even got a sort of chest with his um, six pack. <laughs> Quite funny. And then also I've got a little thing from something I got in France when I went there. One of these rubbish £10 toys. And the and it came with some fire that it came. It's like a dragon. And I quite like it. So he can actually have his atomic breath, which looks quite cool. It's got his gills. And it's just a really nice 2014. Then I guess, yeah, the Godzilla Earth from the 2017 anime. This looks epic as well. Same, not the same colouring, but the same sort of silver looks really nice. Don't know why that's there. That doesn't work very well. But then it's got the really nice blue on his claws as well, on his feet, which looks nice. And also in the metallic blue for the eyes, which I would quite like them to do that with the motha as well. Because that's just a blue. That's like a shiny blue. But this guy's really cool. So... Compared to all the other Godzillas, he should be towering above them, because he is giant. <laughs> it's like, I haven't seen the anime. I'm not really a fan of the Godzilla Earth. He looks cool, but just the... I've had lots of people say it's not very good. And I've looked at some clips, and it doesn't look amazing. But I would maybe watch it. I don't know. Probably won't. But there is a new anime coming out. Next year, Godzilla Singular Point. Go watch the trailer, it looks epic. Brand new designs, and it's made by Toho. But he's got the same swivels for the arms and hips. And then he's got his six pack, like the 2014, which looks quite nice. And then he's got like the bark texture, tree bark texture as well. And <laughs> this is quite funny. So this shin looks epic. And the thing is, they actually got the head right, and NECA didn't. That's really annoying. Because you can see how long NECA shin's face is. That's how long it should be. So I'm quite annoyed about that. But it does look really good compared to this guy. It's basically just a smaller version. Nice red. I would have preferred like a proper bright red with the moth of the wings as well. The feet <laughs> look stupid. They've only coloured two of them and they've coloured it too far back. And it just looks a bit weird. But then the arms are on swivels. So they can go all the way around. And they've got him in his classic pose with his hands up, up like that. When you see the poster and he's just there. And he's got his feet his ankle hips God, getting can spin all the way around got a long tail and they even got the face on the tail and necker didn't which is very annoying so i'm going to paint that white again 
but he's really nice. She and she can have him rampaging through a city with the big one behind him. And then this is another one I was excited about. The Final Wars Rodan looks really nice with this sort of like armor all over him. He sort of reminds me of like a knight. So it's like armor on his on the top of his legs and on his chest. Looks really nice. And the sort of airbrushing thing looks really nice as well on the bottom of his wings and on his chest. And they actually gave Rodan pupils in this and none of the others have pupils, which is quite funny. And then he's even got his little ears, which is quite cute. They just gave him little holes in the back of his ears. He's got nice detail on the back with his tail and then his nice detail on the claws. But the sculpts for these are actually just amazing. Like, I was expecting them just to be utter garbage, but they're actually quite good. Same with Ghidorah. I think this is 1964 or 1965, I don't know. But I might repaint that brown as well, because that's meant to be like hairy stuff there. Just like dark brown hair. And they gave him pupils as well, which looks quite nice. I find the middle one, his head looks a bit goofy because it's open. Which is quite funny. But they this, the gold on this one is brilliant. So he's just complete, completely pure gold. His necks, they, I don't think, they are meant to be on swivels, but they don't move at all. I've tried heating it up with a hairdryer and it doesn't really work. The wings are on swivels, but when you get it, they're popped out, so you just hit him, have him like that. And they, they're they not really meant to swivel, they're just meant to be like that. It would be nice if they had like a flapping motion to them. And then the legs, instead of being individual swivels, you move one, and both of them move. Which is quite weird, I don't know why they went with that choice. But all the detail on, on the scales looks brilliant. Same with the little spikes on the end of his tails. Looks really cool. And lots of nice detail all over him. Again, this guy leaves marks like the bootleg King Ghidorah. And this is my favourite. Kairu or Kiryu, however you want to say it. But the detailing on this one is epic just the amount of detail they put into him even the absolute zero cannon in his chest looks really cool and it's got his ridges up his neck <laughs> this really made me laugh when i first got it the eyes are painted onto his eyebrows yep he looks really goofy they're meant to be just a bit below them so that's quite unfortunate <laughs> But then all the way down the tail looks brilliant, all the detail. No swivel in the legs because I guess it's got that big sort of hip thing there. So they couldn't have really done it that well. The arms can't move up there but they've got a swivel at the elbow which is quite nice. The hands are detailed as well really nicely. Same with these, I can't remember what they're called. There has got a gigantic shoulder cannons which look epic. I would quite like if you could take that off, because quite a bit of the time you see him in the film without it, but I don't really mind for this one. And then with the tail, just got his three little spikes on the end, got his little triangular symbol, not perfectly aligned, but I'm not that miffed about it. But just all the detailing on this guy is epic. But, yeah, the main reason I got these guys was just because I was going to do, like, a playgroup thing with this big guy and just have these guys in a box and him just playing around with them just in the little preschool bit. But, honestly, I would actually recommend picking these guys up because you, you can get them for £10 on eBay and... I live in the UK and they're from the UK so they come really quickly which is nice so they arrived yesterday actually well not yesterday for you guys yesterday Saturday because this is being filmed on Sunday and the stop motion that um, on Tuesday is going to be filmed after this review if that makes sense but 
I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye.